So I bought this HP Stream 11 Windows Windows Home, I should say, um, Windows 10 Home based computer. I got it for 150 bucks at Micro Center. It was an open box, so and that was with tax and everything. And I bought it to put Kali Linux on it because um, I want to start playing with that. And so the deal is, is what I did is I backed the whole thing up. It has Windows on it, and here I'll open it up. And let's just turn it on here. It has uh, four gigs of RAM and a um, a 32 gig hard drive. That's the problem with it. It only has 32 gigs of hard drive space. So, but for what I'm going to use it for, it's it's okay. And you know, you can get by with this much uh, uh, hard drive space and so forth if you start using any kind of cloud-based like Google Docs. It's kind of a cool computer, like I said. This one's great. I mean, like I said, it was open box, but there's no scratches. It's just somebody bought it and then returned it. And um, it's got two slots. It's got a HDMI and on this side and a um, flash. And then it's got, sorry, it also has a slot for the SD card there. Uh, for It's got USB, sorry, sorry, USB and HDMI and then a USB on this side and then a, um, a earphone jack. And then that's just the lock um, area if you want to lock it down or whatever. So, but for like I said, for 150, it's actually pretty cool. Speakers are on the bottom here, and you know it runs fairly well. For I was surprised because the the hard drive is uh, the memory is uh, eMMC instead of just uh, a regular SSD. So I was surprised how fast it still booted up in spite of you know having the slower memory in it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to boot it from uh, Kali Linux and start installing that. And so, just so you can see what the BIOS looks like and how to set it. So, Right now, I'm going to go to System Configuration and pick Boot Option. Oops. Not what I was looking for. There we go. Boot Option. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and enable Legacy Support. And that will allow you to go ahead and install Kali Linux on this. So I already have this all set up. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of this without saving it. So let's see. And yeah, I'm just going to exit discard changes because it's already set up the way it needs to be set up. So to boot from Kali Linux, or actually to boot from any flash, uh, flash drive, on this particular computer, you have to hold down the escape. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit um, F9 and, and then tell it to boot from the flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead and try to install this and I'm just going to go and do, I'm going to go ahead and select a graphical install. Okay, so it gave me the graphical installer. So I'll, I'll turn this camera back on after this finishes in installing, this is just your typical Kali Linux installation. So if you haven't seen how to do that, it's pretty easy. Um, you know, there's a lot of videos out there to do this. This is just to show you that you can do it on this HP Stream 11. And I'm sure the 14 would work also, the Stream 14. So um, I will get back to you. Okay, so I got it installed, and I don't have the USB in it right now plugged in. I did get Wi-Fi up and running, and it does work, and sound works, and even the trackpad works good. Everything seems to be working, sound, trackpad. Um, and let's see, if I go to... Let's type YouTube again, just to show you how the sound and video works on it. Um, the only downfall was when I went to reboot, it gave me this um, 
system recovery screen and I'll show you that. And that's the only thing I need to try to fix right now. So um, there, I'll just pick this. And hopefully sound will come up. Snap your W2 and file fed and safe. Sounds not the best on guaranteed. this thing, but that's all the way up right there. The keyboard does work, the keyboard buttons for the sound. And yeah, so everything seems to work on it, works really well. But just that boot screen. See, the sound works pretty good. So everything works good on it. Um, just trying to figure out that boot. And to fix it, so Cali just boots right in and you don't get the Windows bootloader. What you want to do is, what I did is I went ahead and started with Cali and erased the disk completely. And then I installed Cali. And then that's when I didn't have any issues with the Windows bootloader. Because what I did is I installed it once, had a problem with it still wanting to boot in Windows and it wouldn't boot in Windows. So it gave me like a restore blue screen, but then I could pick the Linux um, bootloader and it would load. So what I did is I erased the Windows and the, the Linux. I just went ahead and formatted the drive and then reinstalled Kali and then that fixed everything. So now as soon as I turn it on, it boots right to Kali. If I sign in there. You will see that it will should boot up, and uh, everything works great. Uh, the, the audio, the um, trackpad, um, Wi-Fi works. I, I read online somewhere that Wi-Fi may not work, but Wi-Fi works great. Um, the sound works great. It always starts up uh, off though or muted. Um, I can watch videos with it and so forth. Although that's not what it's for, but if I need to, I can. And uh, the only other, th the only thing that uh, is not working is the power, like when it's not plugged in. Um, it's trying to estimate what the power is, but I'm not getting. So I have no idea how much long, how much more battery power there is. I know that I just this was plugged in, so it's been on for a while. Well, it says 100% on there right now, but um, up at the top, I'm not sure why it's doing that. But that's okay. Everything else is working. So yeah, with this thing, uh, this HP Stream uh, 11, it, everything's working good with Kali Linux. I did save, um, I did make an image of the Windows, um, uh, the Windows that was came installed on it, Windows Home, and um, you know that would be the next thing to see if I could get it back on here, which I think I can because I just have to boot it, and then. Um, if I had to, I could boot it with a Linux disk and actually format the drive before putting in all the rest of the stuff and probably redo it and would be able to get it back to where it was. So anyway, uh, it was success successful. So once again, give it a shot and try it.